Ball here, co-author of Facebook Marketing All-in-One for Dummies and Wig Wearing Comedian. And I'm here today to talk about how to target the fans of another page with your Facebook ad. This is something that is available in Facebook, but it may or may not be available for the fan page you are trying to target. So one of the cool features about Facebook ads is that uh, Facebook uh, can can use these detailed targeting interests and keywords to specifically show your ad to the fans of another Facebook page. And here's where you do that. If you're in Facebook Ads Manager, you uh, have selected your campaign, you, what kind of campaign you want, maybe it's traffic, maybe it's conversion, something like that. And then you scroll down, you set up whatever settings you've got in the demographics area, and you get down to the detailed targeting section. And that's where you put the name of the fan page of, of the fans that you want to target. So for example, a good friend of mine and fabulous person, Mari Smith. So say I, I know that I talk about Facebook ads. She talks about Facebook in, in general. We've got perhaps an audience that overlaps. So I want to maybe get in front of her fans with an ad. So I would do that by just starting to type in Mari and I would find out if she came up in the targeting and she does. And we can see that um, the size of the audience is 102,000 people and I can select her keyword, her name as a keyword here. Now that's the biggest thing is that you have to start typing the name of the, of the fan page. If they come up as a selection, they're able to be targeted. And there's no way you can block someone from targeting your f Facebook pages in an ad. It's hit and miss with uh, how Facebook has this available. And sometimes large pages I found can't be targeted. Other times I found small pages that can be targeted. Typically in general, I would say somewhere around 50,000 fans and up are more available to be targeted, but that's not always the case. So let's um, have an example. I was looking up um, uh, another keyword and I was coming up this Mary Institute and St. Louis Country Day School. And I was just kind of messing around with keywords. And I can see that there, that size of that keyword is 13,000 people. Now we don't necessarily know if that is truly the fans of that page. And if you actually go and look at that fan page, we can see that this Mary Institute in St. Louis Country Day School only has 5,600 fans. So where is the difference? The answer is we don't really know. Facebook doesn't explain to us what is goes into that, uh, that category. It doesn't explain if um, it could be people who have checked in, maybe it's people who've interacted with the page or in some um, connected, maybe done something else with that page and Facebook has put them into that keyword audience, determining that they are the type of person who interacts with this page, perhaps. We don't really know. And we, there might be some discrepancies on what you see as far as number of fans that show up uh, in how many fans there are here. And it, and there might be, um, it might be kind of a closer match. So there's not much we can do about that. There's not much way we can find out if that truly is the fan page. That can be a challenge for pages that have common names that you're not really sure is that this fan page or that fan page, if it's like Joe Smith or something like that. So we don't really know. Um, another thing that I find is that sometimes I can just look through the suggestions and see what other keywords come up. I might find other fan pages that might be a good fit to target. The other way I look for pages that might have an affinity to mine is through the audience insights section that you can find in your uh, Facebook ads manager. I go in here, do a little research on audience insights, and I can actually find other keywords and uh, pages that might be have a good affinity for uh, me to target. So for example, I'll analyze my page here, which is, um, I'll just put in my page name, which would be um, AndreaVall.Inc. And that's what's in there right now, actually. So 
that's in there. And now I go to page likes and I can see some of the names of the pages. Now, not all of these pages will be available to be targeted either. So for example, I'll, um, I might, I might say, let's look at, uh, what, what pages the women like in this, in the audience of people who like my page. And I might say, Hey, let's look at meet Edgar and see if they're able to be targeted. And I've pulled up their page name and they have 71,000 fans. So I would think, Oh, that could be a good category for me or keyword for me to target. But if I start typing in their, um, name, they do not come up as a match. So, then I cannot target the fans of Meet Edgar. Now there's other creative ways that you can uh, get connected and, and maybe you do a little research and, and find some intersection of audiences that also like Meet Edgar. There's lots of ways to, to do your research and find great keywords to target. The big thing is just making sure you're testing them and really seeing if they do actually what you want them to do with your Facebook ads. So hopefully that clears things up. There's really no rhyme and reason on what pages can be targeted, what pages can't. You just have to start typing in the detailed section here and find out. So that's the message for today. Thanks everyone. Talk to you again soon.